Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shaniva Early, your craft doctor, and I'm here with a long-awaited haul video. Um, I've been <laughs> waiting to do this because um, I was trying to wait for everything to come in, but I still have not received everything, so I'm just going to run with what, the, what I have. So first, um, I got these from uh, Diamond Press, and these are the rhinestone books um okay eventually i'll get it the right way there we go okay because it opens up in the middle so the the books are uh kind of no different than the ones we get in anywhere else uh anything but you can match your color without taking them out and then you got a place to put them when you're done and they already have an adhesive on them and they come in a array of colors. And this one is the pearl, I believe. Um, see, it doesn't say, but it's, it has pearl, pearls, half pearls in different sizes, small, medium, and large, in different colors. And you can see how beautiful the colors are. Can you see them? Let me see if you can see them better if I put a piece of paper maybe behind them there I think that's better because you're also getting a glare so then you can see them the colors which these books are very handy this is more like a fog one and I really like that one I like how they come in little boxes uh, little books even though I do have super so many because, you know, every crafter's companion box, we get some. But this is so much more convenient for a traveler, which we will be traveling uh, soon. Um, I'm going to the Mega Meet. Uh, if anybody has heard of it, it's the Great Lakes Mega Meet. Let me go this way. Um, and it's next month. And it's a show that comes... Uh, it goes around the United States and puts on craft shows with vendors and stuff. And so I'm so looking forward to it. I try to go every year, um, and that's my crafty vacation. And so it is going to be here next month. And I'll be going from Wednesday through Sunday. And... Since I'll be there, I'll see what the situation, what cameras are like, and maybe I could do some taping from there. I'll take my um, GoPro, I mean, not GoPro, Lord Jesus, my um, Osmo Action. And so that's the next book. And this book is different from the other books, because um, I do have another book of rhinestone stuff. From them this one was built a whole lot different but you can tell that these are the colors are uh, these are pearls and um, they're different but this is a, a one of the first books I think there's one more book um, I'm not sure um, I have too much stuff y'all I gotta stop shopping okay and so this was the one that I ordered and then this is the next one and it came if you seen it on HSN it came in a um, on the same item number so don't look for two item numbers it's the same item number okay so this is the other one and these are more um, I want to say they're brighter in case you need to figure it out <laughs> they're brighter so you get some summer um where the other book was more fall and as opposed to having two books i know there's another book because one had pearls and one had rhinestones in this book you get pearls and rhinestones you get pearls on one side and rhinestones on the other side so there's another book out there because that other book I think that I just showed you was, was just rhinestones. I love this right here. And then you go rhinestones. So you got a choice. 
in one book. And I know this is probably not the best seeing opportunity, but sorry. <laughs> Without me taking them all out, this is the best way to do it. But look at all the bright colors. And so with both of these books, you kind of get an array, an assortment of different um, spectrums of the color. You can go all the way from lightest to darkest. And you really don't need anything else. Just depends on how much rhinestoning you do in your project. You know, I always like to put my little rhinestones in. I'm not a stone person. I'm not that person that likes a lot of glitter and glam on anything except card making. I love it all with my card making stuff. I haven't got my club of the month yet. I'm not sure if I showed you the haunted house. Um, from um, Oh, you know what? I did show you the haunted house because I started to color this in. Let me see if it's still on mine. I have a tendency to start my coloring projects, and if I don't do it all at one time, it don't get done. Mm. I don't know what I did with that page, but I did. I think I showed this to you. What if I didn't? Can you get a second look? Okay, so what it is is it's the LDRS, and this is the Haunted House. Haunted House is gorgeous. Um, I like these mainly because it comes with the die to cut it out so you can make it into a card or a card layer or ease or whatever you want. And it's a little bit smaller for a two size fits perfectly. Um, but if you want it to layer, 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 and then put it on a five by seven, you could do that. Um, it comes with the stamp that open, I mean the die that opens up the windows and doors. Uh oh, see, that's what I get for messing with stuff. I'm sorry, it flipped over to my screen. That blue, that blue is my camera. I have tape over it um, because I once had somebody uh, get onto my computer before, so I put tape on my camera. Do that um, when you have a computer that has a camera, no matter what it is, even if it's a um, an extra camera that you put on and like a the um, webcams put something over that your your uh, webcam for safety anyway so this cuts out the windows so you don't have to um, and then they have the little people which are super cute I personally don't I don't know how I'm going to let me do this right now they're so tiny and people make these look so beautiful but I just don't know how I, to color these little people. Let's see. Let's see. Let's take out the little bitty bear. I think it's a bear. I don't really know. And I got some. This is the reason why I have little scraps of paper that's everywhere. But I want to stamp this. Okay, first of all, that's super cute. Um, it also cuts out all of these little pieces, right? They cut off. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And let's zoom down. So that's this little Halloween scene right here. Focus camera. Did I bring you too low? I don't know. But what I wanted to do is just take a... I'm just pulling on one of my random Copics that are sitting right in front of me and see how hard it would be to color this in. See, I would literally have to... It's not bad because Copic has this little tip. Um, yeah, I could color that in. I've never even used many of these because they're so tiny. They so tiny and cute, but you know what? Let me pause this and get something. Hold on. Okay, that was a quick pause. Okay, so what I, I the, the pause was because I went and had my husband get off on top of the bookshelf these little thingies. And um and these are uh Tombow markers. 
and they're got a little tip. So, which would help me in my coloring because this tip is so tiny that it would be able to get right in there and color our little bear. Now, I, I know a lot of people do this um, coloring and do shading and stuff, but I wouldn't because it's so little. But I do see that this tip would afford me the opportunity to color him in without a problem. Okay. So, see, I could color him in without a problem. He also got down for me, as you see my big hands, I think it's zoomed in wide, my Arteza real brush pens, which you would use on, I think they, you use these on watercolor paper. And I just got this out just so I could dot his nose, but it has a very thin tip that you could do the same thing with. So, don't just think you have to use your Copics or anything. Use something like these. And he got down with... Okay. Ooh, let me back you up. Okay. I'm putting this pin back. As y'all know, if y'all watch me, if I don't put stuff back... <laughs> it'd be disaster okay so he got me those two things down but he also got me got down off the bookshelf because that's where I keep all my cases and, and pens and stuff you could also use color pencils with this you don't have to necessarily use um, anything else but he also got down my gel pens that I keep in this little container and I just want to get uh, this orange out and color right on top of here which will give this little guy some glitter okay so I just wanted to kind of show you the options that you have so see we have focus camera there we go. Several options that we can use these small little things for. Even though I haven't even really done a lot of them. Um, but I'm going to. And you know, these make great um, when you're doing um, the, the, if you go use the um, little thing where you make a reef. Th these will be really good because they have different things like pumpkins and um, um, potion bottles and bats and stuff so you can make the cute little reef like thing uh is it ldr yeah ld it's from ldrs so that's this um and then each one of the little figures has the die that goes to them which i love that too so you can put in the house that's enough about that i went a long round being just for that y'all y'all got to excuse me but that's what I do. It do come with a sheet too. I do that. Okay, so next up, I want to show you this, which is weird, um, a weirder type situation that I bought that I didn't need. Well, I did need, but I didn't. Okay, so I got these from We Are Memory Keepers. These, the Crocodile set. And I got these because I had one that had the uh, no, the half and one fourth, and one side broke, and so it was cheaper to buy the dual set than it was to buy both of them. So now I have two of the stub and scallop because I already have I already have that. So I'm not gonna open it because in a giveaway. Um, that I'll do, I might give this away. 
Um, or ha, keep it because the last time, the reason why I needed a new one of these was because I it broke. So this one is just a half. And that's just if you want to give your card face a little something. That's all this it does. But it's if you want to give your rounding of your corners just like that. And then this one is the, I have this one here, which is the angle, large and small, as you can see. And then this one is the scallops and scallops and stub one. And then I also have a deco and stub. So I have several of these. Um, so I'm just going to put this up and not have to worry about it because I might end up giving it away. Um, of course, it's not going to fit in my drawer anymore because it's too fat to fit in my drawer. My drawers are full. Okay. Okay. So I'm putting stuff up as I go. <laughs> Somewhat. Okay. Next up is some Diamond Press Halloween. This was a um auto ship thing. I love these little auto ships. Even though I kind of wish I could just buy it all at one time. So, this is the reveal wheel type of thing. It's the wheel that you turn and it reveals whatever. And it's not called reveal wheel. This one is called interactive wheel, but it's just like the wheel reveal wheel from Lawn Fawn is the same type of thing. Um, because we know all of the stuff is the same. Every company, they just design it a little different. And so I'll show you another one that I bought too um, in my next video. So you have these and it explains how to use them. But this is the auto ship that gives you all of this stuff to make um, this these designs. Beautiful, beautiful. And you can do it at the top or you can do it at the bottom. And so what I did was I seen these and I was like, oh, these pumpkins look so cute. And I was sitting on my couch. So I took it out and I stamped them on um I stamped them on colored paper so then I could get a little bit more color without using the white and having the white edges and they'd be so stark so I just colored on this with my um not with my Copic markers I also have a set of y'all I'm, I'm a nut for stuff because I did a series long time ago on comparing Copic and Blick markers. And I have these Blick color markers here. And these, these, if you're looking for a comparison to Copic at a cheaper rate, go to Blick Art Supply. And the price difference alone is beautiful. But the handling of the markers are wonderful the colors are beautiful and they they, they give copic a, a run and i have a video um about blick markers comparing them to copic and so go back into my little thing and look because i don't know where that's at um i have to look in my book and i could tell you what number video it is um um uh, no <laughs> I have over 400 um something videos. Um Blick, Blick marker tricolor worksheet video 134. Lord Jesus, you are a rock star cuz I just opened up this book and looked down and it was right there. So it's video 134. I think that might be where you can find it. I don't really know how to attach a video and because you know I still do live everything what you see is what you get type of thing it's just i'm not live but i'm recording it live and i'm uploading it as it go so everything is still live it's just i'm i'm not on live but it's still everything is still live you know you still gonna hear cuz and barking in the background okay so first we have always get one of these and keep these don't get rid of them we have the window that allows you to do the top you could put it up this way to do the top or this way to get the bottom. So you'll get, if you want it to come out the bottom, you will put your template on in the bottom. And I love the fact that they have these templates now 
um, after I started getting these, I think um, Lawn Fawn or is that Lawn Fawn? Yeah, Lawn Fawn came out with templates too to all of their reveal will type of stuff. Then we have the words. We have different words. Um, I love how they color code the words so then you can really see them. It says warm and cozy, happy, merry and bright, uh, fun field, winter, joyful Christmas, timeless year. Uh, no, what did I say? Time of the year. Okay, yeah. So it's a lot of words. <laughs> Y'all, it's, it's a lot of words. Y'all don't want to see me read words. Okay. Then we have the gorgeous stamps. Long Fun always has, I mean, Diamond Press always have gorgeous stamps. And have you noticed um, they're, they're evolving and they're getting bigger? The stamps are getting bigger. Okay. And then, of course, they have the dies that go to each one. And then they have the wheel. This is the wheel that um, cuts out. Don't lose that thing. It's the wheel that cuts out the sentiment. Okay. So that's what that is. It cuts out the sentiment. And don't forget, you can mix and match these on um, the reveal wheel. I mean, on the... What's this, this wheel called? It's not the reveal. Interactive wheel. That's because I know it's the same type of thing. I keep calling it that, but that's not it. It's called the interactive wheel. Okay. So that is that. Okay. And so next, put that right there. Next, we have these. These are the embossing folders for uh, slimline cards. Cute butterfly. We have the owl and the bird and these are diamond press swirls swirls flowers hearts and clouds and rainbows and there isn't they have another set of six so this is a six yeah they have another set of six and I didn't buy them because they were more like winter Halloween-ish, I think. And I don't really do a lot of Halloween type stuff. I can almost say I do none because even though I buy, just like I got that diamond press one, I really don't do anything with it. That was the auto ship. Okay, go back in there. That, that last one always stick on that tape. Okay. So I did emboss with it, and I used the, the diamond press little machine to emboss. Um, but you can tell it didn't. You can see the embossing slightly, but it didn't do a good job. And I did start coloring this to see if we could color on top of it. And you can. So you can use this and color and make your own design. So I thought that was really cute. Um, so I'm just going to slide this back in here. So when I work on this again, it'll be in its place. Okay, so next up we have our, this is from Diamond Press, and this is another auto ship. And this is the auto ship for the slimline cards. There you go. Told you. Dogs gonna always bark in my video. You get a one of these folders. I wonder did I get the 10 set or 8 set of these. I did, I'm sure. Always keep these because you never know when you might need one that's going to break. Uh, or you use it up or you need to get a, a new one. And then this is a Halloween type um, one. And this one is like a check one. And I did cut it out to see how it was going to cut out. And it cut out beautifully on one pass in the, um, what do you call it, marquee. It did fabulous, as you can see. And then I cut out the words, um, thinking of you, 
um, thankful for you and blessed. So I did cut them out in three different types uh, or two different types of paper, one thicker and one thinner to see how they were going to cut out. And they cut out wonderfully. Um, my idea actually for this is I'm going to stack these. I was going to do a drop shadow, but I decided to just stack them and make it look like a little decoupage situation. So when you have words and they're thin and and you don't know um, what to do, just cut out a bunch of them and then put them together. And when you put them together, it'll make a thick decoupage piece instead of a single layer. Because sometimes a single layer is cute, but stacked is thicker and more substance to it. Okay, so what we have is the actual outer die. The inner die that does not cut out, it just cuts into the paper. And the three sentiments. And that's what's this that's what came in this auto ship. Love this auto ship. Um because I wasn't really into doing slimline cards, but this gives me some slimline um possibilities when I finally start doing them. Okay, so that, that, and then, of course, you know, I have full set syndrome. It's, it's a curse. So, of course, I got these. I got these tri blend markers because on the auto ship, everybody who was in the auto ship got these, but I just wasn't going to do it. And I was like, I'm not getting it at auto ship. I'll just wait till they come so I can buy them all. And then when they brought them out, they didn't bring them all out at the same time. They brought the first pack. And then now, finally, a year later-ish, they got the second pack. And some of these are like a uh, number, the number system. Um, like this is CT3, CT4, and CT1. And then in the other pack, you might have got CT2, CT5, CT7. So... Some of these are a new family, color family, and some of them are not. Some of them are extensions of the old family of colors. But now with all of these, I've ended up with the same set. And of course, they they do fabulous as usual, the tri-blend markers. I love tri-blends because I don't have to go looking for a color. And so I got the set of tri-blends beautiful color palette and what I like about these is these are lighter it's a hard you have a hard time buying um, markers sometimes that are lighter for some reason they're always darker and and the crazy part is um, Spectrum Noir came out with a light palette because they must have known that they wasn't doing nothing but dark colors I don't know so these will go into my case with the other Tribeland markers. And to show you how good this, um, I'm going to keep my little man, I just call it. They work is I took and I was start working on this. This is one of the pop-up boxes. And I used them to color these. So they really turned out beautiful. The, the, the markers turn out beautiful um, when you use them and you see how well they blend it together. They blend it wonderfully. So that was from these tri-blend markers. So the, I like to travel with my tri-blends because there's less of them but more colors. So I literally don't travel with my Copics. They sit on my desk as a quick pick. And if I'm doing a... I don't want to say a lesser show. If I'm doing a show and tell type of thing, I take my Blix because they're cheaper. And if I needed to replace them, it's cheaper than replacing a Copic. So I do kind of have a reason behind the madness. Okay, so that is that. And the next thing I have to show you, I got to put in the video number two because I cannot do it together with this video. And you'll see why in a minute. So um, tomorrow you'll get a video with um, my next uh, haul. All right. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one.